Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Go. We are in our headquarters, our leafy treetop headquarters, getting ready to go out for the day and see what we might find around the lake. And it looks like we actually have quite a few Rattata. Ah, oh, dang it. I was really hoping we would find some Dratini today because as you guys know, I am working on building up my team of Dratini. So let's actually see. Do, do, do. Look at all those beautiful water noodles. So we are gathering up all of these gorgeous Dratini and trying to get a functional team of fighting Dratini. And those are big words for somebody whose highest CP uh, Pokemon right now is like, oh my goodness, I think my high, yeah, it's just my Pidgeot. It's not even up there very much. So I'm not very strong right now. And if you actually would look at my siblings, my brother and sister have like level 7,000 Venusaur teams. And I'm over here with my water noodles and Venonats and, and my very cranky, very powerful Bellsprout. I don't even know how I caught that guy. He's a pretty tough one. He must have roots of steel. So we're not really that impressive of a team right now, you guys. But you know what? That's okay. Because the whole point is that we've been having a lot of fun. And I've been having a lot of fun getting to know my lake more and getting to enjoy going around it and I haven't been recording Pokemon Go for like the last week because it's been over a hundred degrees I can't survive in that that's just that's just merciless that's not the time to go on a two and a half mile walk around a lake so we are up early early in the morning and we're going to try to hit up the Pokestops and we're going to try to go around the lake and see what we can find today to enjoy our lake time and enjoy trying to catch some Pokemon especially if I can get some more Jatini like I mentioned those are my big goals as always. Oh, and then we also want to see if maybe, just maybe, we'll be lucky enough to hatch a couple of our eggs. One of my five kilometer eggs hatched and the server lost it and I was so sad. So we're trying to hatch another egg and we're going to see how it turns out. We're going to see if it hatches into something really rare and fun. Or you know what, if it hatches into another thornberry, which is our Weedle, then I wouldn't mind because I would love to get thornberry leveled up because I think thornberry is adorable. But yeah, we're gonna go adventure, we're gonna go walk around. I don't think I'm anywhere near strong enough to even try to pretend, no. Uh, there's no way I can even try to pretend to take on that gem. So we're just gonna leave that gem alone. And we're gonna enjoy our lake because I'm getting ready to move pretty much coming up on this weekend. So this is coming up on some of the last times I'll ever be able to do Pokemon Go around this lake. Oh, that's so sad. So we're gonna try to spend some good time over here and we might even head down to the gym over there and maybe do a little bit of training. I've not ever trained at a gym. That's a blue gym, so we can go train and be friendly with them and see what happens. So we might go try that out. That might be kind of interesting. Also, you guys, I am moving to a bigger city. Uh, just really FYI, this lake is amazing and it does produce Dratini. It's absolutely fantastic. I find Dratini from my desk sometimes. But the big problem is the game will be like, oh, look, there's a rare Dratini right over there. It should be easy to reach, right? And then it takes you so much longer than just two minutes to walk in that direction because you have to go all the way around the lake and that kind of slows you down but we are going to be moving to a bigger city and it's going to have uh, a much higher density of roads and a much higher density of Pokestops. I hear it is basically Pokestop Central. It's absolutely fantastic. Like the local businesses are getting into it and inviting Pokemon trainers in like for a cup of tea or a movie while they sit and they can catch Pokemon and like set their lures. Some businesses are like who have Pokestops are actively setting lures to attract people to their business. It's kind of amazing. So we we will be moving into a really awesome town and I do plan on doing Pokemon Go on the road as we travel there so you guys can see Pokemon Go as we travel across the country through several states for our move and you'll be able to see Pokemon Go as we get to our new house so house tour Pokemon Go which might be pretty fun but all right let's go down we'll hit up the Pokestops and then we'll turn around and we will see what that gym has and we'll see if we can find any more Dratini so you guys are cute and all but I want some Dratini all right, oh, 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 you guys, no way. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a second shoe closet Dratini. It's Shoelace's big brother or sister, or maybe just like Shoelace showing me that it has totally gotten a lot tougher. All right, come on, get in the Pokeball. That's our shoe closet. That's another shoe closet Dratini before I even get outside. That's hilarious. So yeah, I'm gonna miss being able to catch, yes, Dratini in the shoe closet, cause that's pretty awesome. 
But I am really looking forward. Hello, little one. I am really looking forward to all of the new Pokemon we'll be able to catch in the city because I think I'm going to be able to catch so many more and make it so much more interesting for you guys and for me. Whoa, and my, my team has taken over the gym. Yeah, there's a Slowbro over there. Look at that, level 22. What am I? I'm just a little pathetic level 8. Oh, well, we've got a lot of work to do. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to moving into the city because I think we'll catch a lot more Pokemon and we'll be able to go on a lot more adventures. But let's go out and let's just enjoy what the beautiful lakeside Dratini Lake has to offer right now. And then maybe we can just go down there and spend some time at that gym. So, huh. Mm. All right, there we go. <laughs> what are you doing here, huh? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's so tiny. So it's a little Zubat coming over for the flowers or the bugs around the flowers again. Nice. And actually, before we move, I am definitely going to make sure to put lures down on both of these overlapping stops so that we're able to see what we get. And I've been down here before just once, and I, I didn't record it for you guys, but I have been down here when both the stops are activated. And when both of these lures are activated, then anytime a Pokemon shows up at one, a Pokemon also shows up at the other one. So you get like BOGO Pokemon. It's amazing. All right, and we're going to come over here. We're going to gather up our items. Dun dun dun! Gather up our items there. And never feed ducks bread. That's why that sign says, what about waterfall? And can I reach this gem? Come on. No, too far away. Okay, well I'm gonna like scooch. I don't know, if I train at this gem, I think I'm just gonna get destroyed. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get completely destroyed. So I'll kind of look and see what happens if I go near the gem. But I don't think we're gonna train at it. But I'm gonna move a little closer because the gym's actually like right in the middle of the parking lot. Hi little guy, you were much closer than your step said you were. Hey, no, come back Pokeball. Why, I need you. All right, come here. In you go. And a lot of people have been telling me you can pick the Pokeballs back up after you throw them and that has never worked for me. So I think that's a myth. <laughs> All right, in he goes. So he's scuttling around in the grass down here. Sorry if you can hear all the cars and everything. All right, can I get to the gym yet? I don't want to get too much closer. All right, there's actually a picnic table right next to where the entrance to the park is and where the gym is. So this is the first time I have ever visited a friendly gym and I have no Pokemon I think could survive here. So what does this do? So I could go ahead and I could try to throw my poor Pidgeot up against the Slowbro. That's not going to happen. That's not, that's nowhere, that's nowhere near being able to happen. And then what's this one? And that's, I guess you could add your Pokemon to the list to try to help keep this area going. But I don't think that's going to work. The good news is though, now I see that people have Slowpoke and Slowbro in the area. So that must mean they're somewhere around here. I don't know if we'll find any before we move, but that's pretty awesome. All right, well, I'm not gonna try because I'm just gonna get my Pokemon completely destroyed and we will just continue our walk. I might even, do I have any incense left? I might, yeah, I might turn on my incense and we'll just see if we can find anybody going around the lake today. Oh, oh no, oh look at this. And a real life Pokemon has ended up on my shirt. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you guys this. Okay, looks like I caught a Weedle. Or do you think it's a Caterpie? A Weedle or a Caterpie? Hi, little guy, oh my goodness, you're so cute. He's a little inchworm, or a little like caterpillar. What you doing over there, hmm? You match my shirt. I think he fell on me when I was visiting the flowers, so I'll put him back over by those flowers. But he's really cute, look at how tiny he is. And I love the way inchworms do their little inchworm thing like this, it's so adorable. Hi buddy. I'm gonna put you back now, I'm not a flower. Thanks for thinking so though, that's pretty sweet. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him in his little flower. Well, have a good life, little guy. You're really, really adorable. And you're so tiny. I already can't see you. Goodbye. What? <laughs> oh, you guys. I was just about to show you. There's a cute little mushroom right there. And just as that happened, check that out. All right, come here, buddy. He's a, he looks huge from over here because of perspective. All right, so that's cool. I was just about to show you guys there. Oh, excuse you, sir. 
But yeah, look, there's some cute little mushrooms right there. They're adorable. And then there's some feathers, and I was gonna show that to you. And then he showed up. That was really rude, wasting one of my Pokemon. Oh, what? Did you see that? Hey, hey, no, get in the, oh my gosh, I can't believe him. Rude, rude McRudson. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him alone if he's not gonna get in after this one. Uh, you know what, Zubat, I'm not that inclined. We're done with you. I know that seems ridiculous, but well, okay, if I get some Pokeballs right here, I can't believe I played with that interim for like five minutes, and so these are already ready to collect again. That's amazing. All right, I got more Pokeballs, and I'm using my incense, and next time we'll actually go chase them down, but I wanted to look at the mushrooms. At least I got to show them to you guys.